We'll go back to your first film, uh, Why Men Cheat, mm -hmm. 2005. So how did that movie's success impact you getting your next film project off the ground? Yeah, so it was it was a uh, it was a wow. My first film that ever that I ever got distribution for was a film called Black Butterfly. It was a film we made for less than ten thousand dollars, and E One actually um, put that film out. We know E One is a major major company, but a guy named Ellen Blackwell was he saw the trailer. I sent him the trailer. He said, "Oh, I want this film." But before then, we did we did a film called uh, again my first film, White Man Cheat. I used to love her. Uh, how have you hit me with those films? Those films are the films that, you know, from White Man Cheat, we took that money and we invested in the two. Uh, how have you hit me? We took that money and invested in the two. I used to love her. And we did, I used to love her. That film right there is it, screened and we did that film for $3,500. And it was in like 10 film festivals. And when I went to the film festivals, I didn't just go there just to screen the film. When I would go there, I would have DVDs made up. I wasn't even thinking about, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about distribution. I was just thinking about selling DVDs. And it wasn't until uh, we came and did Black Butterfly is when, you know, I said, okay, if I have to, uh, if I have to release this film on my own, then I would do that. But what we did was we, uh, we, uh, I sent the trailer to I sent the trailer to uh, Ellen Blackwell at E1. He said, "I want that film." And then from that film, then we got distribution for Holly. If you hear me, then we got because of the success of that film. And so what happened was with, with Black Butterfly is E1. They, like the first week, they had to reprint. <laughs> they had to uh, they had to print more DVDs up because they all sold out in the stores. Okay. It was in Walmart, and they all sold out. So they had to rush and print more out. Because I told her, I was like, look, I have an audience out there. And what we're gonna do is we wanna promote this film, we're gonna promote this film. So you all have to print out more. I think they print out 5,000 copies the first time, which I understand, I mean, they wanna be safe. And so like the first like the first week or so, those were all gone. And then because of the success of Black Butterfly is, is when uh, we got distribution for I Used to Love Her, then we got distribution for How Have You Hit Me. And, um, from, from the success of that one film. And so you made it for $10,000? The, uh, the one that was in Walmart? Yes, it was, it was like for 9,500. And how many locations did you have? We had a total of, I think like eight locations. Wow. Yeah, eight locations. But this, this is how we would do it. Uh, we would shoot, the way we would shoot this film, we would shoot on weekends because people work. So we would shoot on weekends. We would, or then we would take one day, uh, so we would shoot a 12 hour day on a Saturday and Sunday and on Friday what we would do is we would just take one scene and we would just shoot that scene and we would just you know and that's how we got the film made uh, over like a six it was like six weeks and uh, yeah so that's how you were able to keep it so low that's why we were able to keep it so low and also th here's, here's the secret the secret is you have to work with you have to work with uh, uh, I know it's difficult in LA because when you talk about locations, because people are familiar with how much is you, how much money they pay, people pay for locations. But Chicago is pretty different. So in Chicago, for us, is that you know I always shoot at like a lot of the film was shot at my mom's house. I shot some of this film at my auntie's house, you know, and then a lot of the stuff we a lot of exterior stuff, you know, where we don't need we don't we didn't need permits to set up. Or we would go to a park and shoot, like the park that we shot at is a park that I grew up in, like playing basketball and uh, baseball and things like that. So we would go to that park and we would shoot things. So we didn't, we didn't pay a lot of money for locations at all because we use friends and, my, and family's locations. And that's another thing we should do. You know, just look at your friends, ask your friends as far as like, you know, can you shoot at their home, you know, and try to do it. You know, like say for instance, if you shoot, uh, at someone's home, you know, just be respectful of their home. Maybe donate, you know, donate a hundred dollars or a hundred and fifty dollars towards the electricity, you know. And I know in LA it's kind of expensive. Locations are, are very expensive, but you know, just like if you shoot somewhere else, you know, just ask the person if you can just, you know, shoot there. You know, and they're open to it.